and uh, uh, they're so far going for that. My personal belief is that if we open sourced every line of code, everything we do, it would only be a good thing. But right now we're more at the 95%. So I'm, I'm a strong believer in open source and the, in the open nonprofit organizations, and I spend too much time in standards meetings and things as well. Um, so I, if I came across thinking that Azigo is driving the bus here, that no, was, I, I didn't think that. I just no. wanted to just wanted to make sure I was clear on that. <laughs> Usually, when I go in to talk to big companies and anything about this technology, I never mention my company at all because that's actually not what they're. That'll come later. First, you've got to get them to understand that there's a new, a whole new movement coming forward here. And look who's, who's, who's involved. And then they say, oh, who are you again? Uh -huh. OK, great. So uh, Phil showed us how the first identity model was the cookie-based identity model, and that we haven't done anything. Now you're saying that the next identity model is the selector-based identity model. Is there another possible alternative to those two? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a quiz, by the way. <laughs> that was a good setup, and you served it. At, at the, it so out. I've got the mic here. Um, Close. Close your mouth. Okay, there we go. I'm interested in ubiquity. So. I wonder if you could talk about the size of your installed base or what percentage of penetration of the market you've, uh, you've hit so far and what you do to increase that. As I go to the Omniture Site Catalyst product and I look at their internet averages for various plugins, browser plugins, there are only two or three or four that are even a third or greater penetration. So how do we make this something that a lot of people use? Well, that's what we struggle with enormously. Um, our little, as, as a Zigo, my company's answer is we don't have the brand power, so we're going to work through people who, to have the trust, like we're talking to some airlines uh, we're about uh, issuing some cards that will help you earn and burn mileage of frequent flyer things. And so the idea is those big companies send out the marketing, and they say, look, you should get this card. And in fact, what we've done is we've bundled the card with the download, with everything. And when you click, 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 one simple experience, you've got it. And I can't talk about it, but we also have a very large, you know, top 10 internet brand company that's going to be bringing this technology out next year and the year after in a very big scale. So today, our market share, we know we have thousands of users. We need to get to, we're only off by three orders of magnitude. <laughs> so, so three simple orders of magnitude and we'll have the million. I think the million is an interesting number. We're trying to do anything we can do to get to that million spot. Now that was, that was a, a Zigo running our software that's all industry standards. It's all plug and play. You can take a card and stick it into card space. You can stick it into this and that. We innovate and do some things Microsoft doesn't do. But then Craig goes to Microsoft and educates them and shows them what we're doing when I'm not even in the room. And so we, they'll eventually build some of this stuff. In his so, shorts. Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, it's, a, it's an absolutely a key question. It's what keeps us up at night. You know, all this sounds lovely, but we've got to get broad adoption. And so far, we're looking at this indirect membership organizations is one way to do it. Nonprofits uh, is another way. There's big internet brands. And then it's a tipping point phenomenon, right? It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, year after year. And then somebody does it, and then everyone starts. We're talking to, I can't tell you how many conversations we've had with, with the largest 10 banks in the country. And nobody wants to go first, but the first one who goes, then the other ones pile on and so on. Of course, the biggest banks in the country have been really hard to find any spare cycles lately. But How many people here remember the question, the year of the land in the 80s? And the question was, when are these going to be ubiquitous? As far as I can tell, there's only 10,000 Ethernet adapters in the world. And the question was, well, as soon as we understand the distinction between token ring <laughs> and CSMA, by God, lands will rule. <laughs> and the question began over and over again, which is better, collision detection or token ring? <laughs> and today we discuss which is better, cookies or selectors? <laughs> I don't know. Which protocol, OpenID? 
Or is it better to be information cards? You know what? None of that matters. It's irrelevant. When Nobel finally said, guess what? I don't care what card you use. You just do lands anywhere with any card anytime. All of a sudden, the question became, well, now what we want is networks, not what topology I'm after. We're in a topology discussion about identity today. What has to happen is the people in this room write the applications that make it irrelevant about the selector. I don't, I'm, the question isn't how many selectors are there. A million's pissant. A million doesn't even touch it. It's, it's what, what application do I want to make that work? I don't even think about the selectors. I want that. And that's going to come from the people in this room who sit down and look at those rules and just get the selector. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. That's not the issue. The selector is a done deal. There's no other alternative. It's over. Now let's go to the next spot and get to the applications that everybody in, in, you know, in the front bell curve of that adoption says, I want that. And it's not going to come from Paul or Kinetics. It's going to come from you. And invention is a letter to say. Yep. Can I, can I just say one thing? Actually, this is even shorter than that. If anyone wants to read Craig's white paper on that topic, go to informationcard.net and click on the white paper link. <laughs> What's a so white paper? I actually want to, what Craig said is, is what I've painfully found out the hard way. And nobody wants a plug-in. Nobody wants a selector, nobody wants an operating system. Oh, but I system. want token green. No, no, they don't. And they don't want an operating system, and they don't want a computer, right? They only want the value. That, and so what we've been more successful, as we look at the value proposition to the end user and the friction of the install process and whatever <coughs> negatives, and we just try to make sure that that person, because Craig is right, when this AAA deal reminder, they don't even know they're installing a selector. We never mention it. It's only that they want to be reminded of ways to save money online. I just want that. That's what people want. And, and, and when it is absolutely true that it's all about the perception of the apps. The selector, everything, that's why I said in the beginning, self-deprecating, I was saying that you guys build the value, we'll build the, the worthless stuff. Well, in the, in the best sense, that's true. The infrastructure is free. It's always free to the end user. We make it as free as possible to everybody else we can to get so that you take it off the table, right? It's the apps that are the value. It's not the infrastructure. It took us a long time to figure out that all this identity plumbing is just plumbing. There's, you can't make a dime on it per it's set. It's immensely valuable. It's not the That's thing not the thing. Right? In uh, 15 or 20 years ago, people were looking at Black & Decker the way they did at Apple in 97. And they hired a new guy and said, Black & Decker has no problems as soon as it discovers that nobody in the world wants a quarter-inch drill. What they want is a quarter-inch hole. <laughs> I was about to use that. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, thanks, Paul. Thanks. Really appreciate it.